Today, we're going to share a complete guide on horizontal weaving cap pass welding. First, keep the cap width within one centimeter. If it goes beyond that, you'll need to apply multiple layers, otherwise the molten metal will start to sag downward. Next, keep your forward push height about 0.5 millimeters lower than the base metal. This makes it easier to pull down and control your transition line. When feeding wire, remember, don't overload the top line. Each time you reach the top, pause slightly. And when coming back down to the bottom line, pull your hands slightly backward to let the weld pool flow smoothly. Never press your electrode into the top surface of the molten metal while weaving. Then, open your steps once your movement is steady. Watch the molten pool, the dragon pool, carefully. When the molten metal reaches the transition line, move back immediately. The ideal weld pool condition is, when weaving upward, the lower metal just solidifies. When weaving downward, the upper metal just solidifies. That means your heat control is perfect. With this technique, you can avoid sagging, burn through, or heavy ripples. And your transition lines will come out clean, sharp, and beautifully shaped. This is the final forming result that every welder should aim for. Fire professional welding tips and tutorials at Weldmaster NDIA.